Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and it's New Year's. We're making escargot with brandy cream sauce. On my stovetop, I have prepared a medium-sized saucepan with water and a little bit of salt and a bay leaf. That's going to boil some pasta shells. I have some large pasta shells. Now, if you have escargot, if you're lucky enough to find escargot that has the actual shell with it, more power to you. But it's very hard to find those anymore. So we had the ingenious idea, mom had the ingenious idea, of using these pasta shells to stuff our escargot into. And I think it's going to be a beautiful presentation. Not to mention, it's going to be delicious alongside this dish. So, preparing that. And I have a frying pan on my stove top on a medium high heat. I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna add butter to that right before I start sauteing my shallots and a clove of garlic. So I have a shallot, which is just like a small onion. It's a sweeter uh, flavor than a regular onion. And they're just tiny little guys. So I'm going to finely dice that. I don't want huge chunks of shallot in my dish. I want tiny little pieces that are going to just kind of melt into the sauce and add that beautiful flavor. Into my frying pan. Not much goes better with escargot than butter. I'll put a tablespoon in. I'll turn that down to a medium heat and I want these to kind of sweat. You just want them to become translucent and soft and delightful. Oh, it smells great in here already. Seafood is a tradition in our household on New Year's. I'd much rather stay home and eat seafood than go out and party. So I've got one large clove of garlic I'm using. Oh yeah, we're doing it up tonight. The person who doesn't like onion and garlic in our house will not be eating this. <laughs> they don't, also don't like cream, so hey, we're doing it up. Cream, garlic, onion. Nice, finely, finely minced that. If they're little tiny cloves, you might think of adding two. All right, I'm gonna add my garlic. Don't add your garlic too early. Garlic tends to get bitter once it starts browning, so you don't want it go to go too brown while you're still trying to saute your shallots or your onions. Now I have these very traditional escargot plates that have reservoirs, six reservoirs each. So I'm going to be boiling up at least 12, one dozen, perfect shells, and I'm also going to do a couple more just in case we have an issue with one of them or two of them. So in they go, and I want them to be just al dente, okay? They need to be able to hold those escargot in a beautiful way. So I just want these to be al dente. They're gonna have a nice little kind of um, bite to them, okay? So you just want them to go, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 minutes. You wanna keep an eye on them and make sure they don't get too soft. You want them re to retain that shape in, as best you can so that you can uh, present it in a beautiful way. In they go. The shallot and the garlic, almost done. In the meantime, I've got snails. I've got one can of snails. Uh, this is how you're gonna get them. You can also find them frozen oftentimes. You don't really seem to get them fresh. You don't wanna deal with fresh snails, okay? Just get them in the can or you'll get them frozen at your um, fish counter. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is open up the can and I'm going to rinse it under cool water in a strainer. So if you've never had escargot before, this is what they look like before you cook them, okay? They are snails, for real little snails but they're a special kind of snail you can't just I don't know if you can just eat any kind of snail but these are specifically um, bred for this purpose farmed all right so my shallot and my garlic smell amazing they're ready to go I have a quarter of a cup of a nice brandy that I'm going to reduce by half add that to the pan it smells like New Year's in here mm -hmm. smells like it already yep that won't take but a couple minutes. You just kind of want to cook off that alcohol. You're then going to add about a cup of chicken stock, chicken broth. Use your own or you can buy one at the store. Escargot is one of my favorite things from childhood. Uh, my parents would cook them all the time on New Year's. We would eat them out at restaurants. That's a kind of a retro thing now. Uh, but they had escargot on many menus in different restaurants that you would go eat at. And that was one of my favorite things as a child to order and to eat. And mom and dad would also make it throughout the year. One of my favorite things to this day. Hmm? It would shock the waitresses. We'd double check to make sure that we were serious. 
Yeah, the, the, wait, the waiter or waitress would ask for the order and I would just be a little kid, four or five years old, and I would order two orders of escargot and they would look at me and they would look at my parents with this crazy look on their face and they would look at my parents to make sure that that's really okay and what I wanted and my parents would be, laugh and snicker and be like, yep, that's what she wants. <laughs> I was a foodie way back when. All right, that's halfway reduced. Add your one cup of chicken stock. Make a further reduction of at least a half. You're gonna let this simmer for about four or five minutes. In the meantime, my shells are nearly done. I'm going to strain them once they're done and uh, reserve them. Pour a little bit of olive oil on them, make sure that they don't stick to each other and uh, hold on to them until we're ready to go. Okay, my shells are done. I'm gonna show you one of them so you know what I'm talking about. They're soft enough to eat, but they are still holding their shape, okay? Put them back into the pot, a little bit of olive oil, toss them around. Be gentle with them. So gently toss them and keep them nice and warm while you're waiting. All right, so my mixture is ready to go here. I'm gonna add my escargot to this, let them cook for a few minutes. Now, if you didn't have brandy or didn't want to use brandy, you could always use a white wine. You could even use red wine. So just toss them around. Make sure that they're nice and coated and get them cooked. I have half a cup of cream ready and waiting. I'm also going to freshly crack some black pepper. At this point I'm going to add a little bit of this gorgeous freshly cracked pepper. It would be great if you added a little bit of chili flake if you wanted. I'm going to chop some fresh parsley, a nice handful's worth. I'm going to put some in the sauce and some of it is going to be used as a garnish after for a nice pop of green. Just finally mince that up. This is a nice quick dish that's going to pack a lot of excitement. It's fancy for the holiday. It'd be also a marvelous dish for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthday. In the pan, turn the pan off. The escargot don't take long to cook. Get them all nice and coated up. Stir in that parsley and pour in that cream. Half a cup of heavy cream. Stir that through. That looks amazing. All right, so mince the rest of your parsley. Save that for garnish. Okay, so I'm going to start assembling this. Arrange your shells on the presentation plates. Looks like I'm gonna be able to add five of these. Use your best noodles, ones that haven't cracked. I might be able to add six here. All right, you want them <clears throat> open side up. All right, so look at how delicious this looks like already. I could just sit here with a spoon and eat that all by myself. <laughs> but I will not do that tonight. I'm going to share with my mom. Here we go. You're going to start scooping your escargot with a teaspoon into these shells, okay? I'm thinking you'll probably be able to fit three, maybe even four, depending on the size of your shells. Add your shallots and your garlic. Oh, mommy, are you excited? The shell idea was a marvelous one. I'm glad you loved it. I have I to think, say. I Very clever enjoy indeed. enjoy having the pasta with it too. Yeah, especially with the brandy cream sauce. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. To really hold it. <laughs> My mother is so smart, I gotta say. And they look beautiful. What a lovely idea. Wow. So I ended up using six per plate and I had two broken ones in my stash, so I did just the right amount of shells. Now I'm going to just spoon all this delicious goodness over top, okay? Now that everything's stuffed, I want to really do it up. This is a lovely, lovely presentation. Make sure you taste test your sauce, that it's salty enough or anything like that. I'm not adding any extra salt. I didn't think it was necessary. We've been trying to cut back especially since we're using butter tonight and eating all kinds of seafood. I think we have enough salt going on here. Make sure you check out the rest of our shows. We're doing a beautiful boiled lobster and court bouillon. We're doing prosciutto um, wrapped shrimp on the grill. And a beautiful ginger and lemongrass 
mussels dish. Killer. This is almost like a, not a deconstructed, but a constructed. <laughs> it looks like a fettuccine Alfredo, but it's like a Brandy Alexander Alfredo sauce and oh, scargo galore here. Beautiful, and we've got all kinds of uh, sauce here to sop up if you wanted to serve that with bread, a baguette I have tonight, uh, or some garlic bread. All that's left to do is garnish with your fresh parsley, and you've got one gorgeous escargot dish that's not just the typical, you know, escargot stuffed in mushroom caps and garlic and lemon. Uh, this is just a little something different. Beautiful. I'm in love. Voila! Escargot in a brandy cream sauce. The French would be proud. Just saying. Mmm! Mom, are you ready to eat? Yes, I am. Okay. Here we go. What do you think? Oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Gorgeous. And you know what I especially like? What's that? got more than one. In each thing. I was just about to tell them that you don't just get one you get like three or four in each reservoir so you really you know upgraded you may need a knife for your shells do you want a knife mom well oh, what do you think this is absolutely decadent and beautiful and delicious oh it's amazing Kim and I bet you wonder why we've ever done it another way that's one of our jokes, Mom and I. And mm. I love the pasta with it. Mmm. I love the pasta because it holds all that mm. sauce as well. Mmm. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. A triumph. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. That's a hefty appetizer. Beautiful. People would be so impressed by this. Yum. Mmm. Oh so good. Beautiful. It is so delicious. Oh, you can taste the shallots. You can taste the layers of flavor, the garlic and the brandy. Oh, the cream. Absolutely delightful. I love escargot anyway. You don't want to overcook it. You want to leave them nice and plump. You just want to make sure they're cooked through, which oh. won't take but a couple minutes. And nice. The shells have soaked up all that wonderful cream. They're oh. soaking it up. Mm -hmm. I might even use a little baguette to get the rest of the cream that goes into the reservoirs. Beautiful. Anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you cook escargot in a brandy cream sauce. Please try it. Let us know what's going on, how you feel about it, because it's delightful. That's it. Happy New Year, everyone. Wow, what a year. Just saying. <laughs> Happy New Year 2019. Uh, looking forward to it, all right? That's it. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. Check out my Instagram.com slash Web Chef of All Trades. You can find my shows on YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly and come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com. Interact with us and subscribe. Let us know what's going on in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously.